Cessnas are very good airplanes. In this video, I'm going to show you some modifications for the back country that makes those Cessnas even better. They can perform really good in the back country with some modifications. One very important aspect of flying in the back country is to be lightweight. And if you have accurate fuel senders and accurate fuel gauges, you can fly with the amount of fuel you need it plus your reserve. So you don't have to carry 20 more gallons or 15 more gallons, which is a lot of weight. So I use aerospace logic gauges with size fuel senders and they're very precise tell you exactly how much fuel you have. Weight is performance. If you fly lighter, you can feel it. Here we are refueling in Idaho. After flying some short trips, we wanted to be lightweight. We knew exactly how much fuel we had. So this is a highly recommended upgrade for the Cessnas, since the original fuel gauges are very inaccurate. Sportsman stall kit and VGs. It changes the leading edge of the wing and extends the wing area by four feet. And the VGs will give you more authority at slow speeds and help reducing the stall speed. Also, give you more authority to the elevator. Combined, they were really good. Here you can see the shape of the wing, it's a droop and lets you fly a higher angle of attack and lets you fly a lot slower than with the stop wing. I noticed a difference of 10 miles an hour slower approach speeds after I installed the Sportsman stall kit. Here is a slow approach to a gravel bar. The stall warning is going off, but I have an angle of attack indicator. It shows me I have plenty of lift left, so it's pretty safe. And the uh, stall warning is calibrated a little bit high, so it goes off at 10 miles an hour before the stall. So I wanted to show you how slow the Cessna 182 can approach with the Sportsman stall and VGs. This video is uh, another approach to a gravel bar. Slow with a turn. It shows that the VGs help with lots of elevator and roll of torque. Combined, these two work really good. And if you want to fly in the back country, I highly recommend this combination. Bigger tires are a must for the back country very easy to get stuck with the uh, standard tires. In the Cessna 182 I upgraded to 850s in the mains and a 7 on the nose. Also a heavy duty 182 fork so that I can fit a larger tire. For table airplanes I highly recommend the Alaska Bush wheels. I have them 26, 29, 31s. For me the best are the 31s lots of shock absorbing and it will save your airframe from vibration and impact so it's like insurance for the airplane so you just say you land on a ground bar with big holes you didn't see from the air those tires will save your airplane once you get the larger tires it is very important to use the correct amount of air pressure Alaska and push with you can run as low as 6 pounds, so it will be a great shock absorber for the big rocks on gravel bars. If you're landing on grass or pavement, you can increase the air pressure, and that will save your tires from wear. In the Cessna 182, when I go to gravel bars, I put 15 pounds of air pressure. When I do dirt strip or grass, I do 20 pounds. 
he landed at Menalus and it was very muddy. So here I'm lowering the tire pressure. The empty propeller is another great modification. It is very lightweight, so it gives you quick acceleration. Absorbs the vibration of the engine, so the airplane becomes very smooth. It's very durable for the backcountry. I've had it for more than 2,000 hours. It is wide, so works as an air brake. Great for the backcountry. Mountain wave aviation cargo nets are very high quality and allows you to put lots of stuff in the cargo area very secure. Also it has pockets so you can put oil, maps or anything you want. The pockets are big so you actually can carry lots of stuff in there. I highly recommend these cargo nets. The angle of attack indicator is not specific for Cessna but it's a great tool to have in any airplane. I have it on the Cessna 182, on, on the CJ6 Nanchang military trainer and it will give you the exact speed for approaches so you don't float, you don't sink, it will give you best glide, VX, BY, it will be a very safe tool that will make you a very precise and consistent pilot. Also you have a headset display, so you are looking outside during the whole approach. No need to look for earth speed indicator or gazing the speeds you need to approach because of the weight of the airplane or the temperature or the high density altitude. The angle of attack indicator compensates for all this. The tail slide or skid is a great modification for Cessnas that are no gear. You can put them on 206s, 207s, 182s, 172s, 152s. It will protect your tail in case you are coming on a very high angle of attack landing or very high arm of attack takeoff, like demonstrated in this section right now. This modification will not give you performance, but it can save you a lot of money in case your Cessna ring touches the rocks or the dirt during a hang of attack landing or takeoff. If you damage the bulkhead it will be a very expensive repair. So I highly recommend it if you do off airport landing or short strip. Another great modification is a P Punk engine upgrade. So it will increase the horsepower of your engine to 280 horsepower and also increase the TBO in my case it came from the 0470R which had 1500 hours TBO to 2000 hours TBO the increase in horsepower is really noticeable the take holds are really shorter and uh, cruise speed increased by 10 miles. This is a pipon in action during its work that will take it off quicker with a heavily loaded to join 
to be a patron of Backcountry 182, go to the uh, YouTube channel on the right hand side, there is the link, and then it takes you to the Patreon page. Here you can see all the tiers and what is all about the support for Backcountry 182 YouTube channel. Also, another way to access the Patreon link is in the description of the video I put in YouTube on Backcountry 182 channel. There is a link for Patreon, so just click on that and it will take you to the page. Thank you for watching, it will be amazing if you guys are interested and give some support.